In this morning's Health Watch, preventing an aneurysm, new research shows everyday activities like drinking coffee, even just blowing your nose, can cause sudden spikes in blood pressure, which in turn could lead to broken blood vessels in the brain or even a stroke. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here uh, to help break us break this down for us this morning. Good right. morning. Good morning. So Erica. these are, I mean, these really are common everyday activities. Right. Let me, tell you, let me <laughs> tell you about this study because it does sound a little scary at, at first glance. This was a very reputable study done in one of the journals of the American Heart Association. They looked at about 250 people who had suffered a ruptured aneurysm, asked them a questionnaire, surveyed them, and followed them for about a three-year time period. And what they found was that certain activities that are, as you said, associated with a sudden increase in blood pressure were found to be associated with an increased risk of rupture of that aneurysm. So these are things, as you said, that we do every day, such as drinking coffee. They were found to be at a two-time increased risk of a ruptured aneurysm. Vigorous exercise, even something like blowing your nose or having sex, all of those things which can cause a sudden increase in blood pressure were associated with an increased risk of rupture. They are so common, especially coffee. You know, a lot of folks at home probably Correct. saying they're having a cup of coffee now. Is it more about the coffee or the actual caffeine that we need to rethink? Things? Well, they go hand in hand. And like any drug, because caffeine is a drug, we have to remember to take into account the risks versus the benefits. Now we hear all the time about benefits of moderate caffeine consumption, like reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes, reducing the risk of uterine cancer, even some types of senile dementia. But people who are at risk for an aneurysm or know they have one probably should avoid the caffeine and coffee. What about the things like blowing your nose or even exercise? I mean, exercise we talk about all the time on this program, how important it is for you to exercise. Absolutely. And Erica, the authors of this study are very clear to stress. We don't want people to avoid these positive or beneficial behaviors across the board. We have to put into some numerical context here. The risk of an aneurysm for the overall population is low. It's about 2%. But that corresponds to over 6 million people. And there are known to be about 25,000 ruptures of aneurysms every year, 40% of which are fatal. So when you break down the numbers like that, if you are one who knows you have an aneurysm, then okay. yes, you want to modify your behavior. So, so, so that helps to put it in perspective. How how does an aneurysm, though, end up resulting in a stroke? Well, there are many types of strokes, but here we're talking about a particular type known as a hemorrhagic stroke, which means acute bleeding. When you look at the blood vessels in the brain, and a ruptured blood vessel can occur anywhere, but there's a small outpouching, that's what we call an aneurysm in one of the arteries. If that were to rupture or even leak, blood then spills into the corresponding area in the brain and results in a stroke. Okay, so then how do you lower your risk of a ruptured aneurysm? Well, we say all the time, and it bears repeating, the things that are good for your heart are good for the rest of your blood vessels are also good for the, your brain. So you want to control your blood pressure, control your cholesterol, you want to eat a healthy diet and exercise. And if you know you are at risk or you have an aneurysm, you definitely want to talk to your doctor mm -hmm. about how to modify these behaviors and whether or not you should avoid things that increase the risk of bleeding further, like aspirin. All right, Jen, thanks so much. You bet.